Hey, you're back with Novacare Sports Medicine. My name is Terry McKeel. I'm a physical therapist and athletic trainer working with Novacare Sports Medicine team in Philadelphia. Today we're here to continue our discussion of the early rehabilitation process following an ACL reconstruction. Today with a concentration on the use of blood flow restriction training, or BFR. Normally, we need to be working at about 70% of a one repetition max in order to make strength gains. However, in elite athletes, this is too much load in order to, or early in the process and in order to protect the graft. However, with the use of BFR, we're able to work about 20 or 30% and get similar physiological effects. What we do is we use something similar to a blood pressure cuff in order to occlude blood flow leaving the limb. So we'll come here. Good. While the cuff is pumped, it creates an anaerobic environment similar to when lifting very heavy weights. This is what allows us to make significant strength gains while performing low load exercises and protecting the graft at this early stage. We can begin by using along with NMES discussed in our previous video. This has been shown to enhance muscle hypertrophy as well as strength gains greater than with NMES alone. We can also progress to using with a straight leg raise as well as isotonic exercises off the table in order to make strength gains while following our post-op precautions. As precautions are lifted, we can progress to more functional closed chain exercises and begin to add resistance at 20 to 30% of that one rep max. This can include exercises like TRX squats, mini step ups, as well as the use of machines such as a leg press. Because we're working at lower loads, we change our exercise dosage, utilizing higher rep counts to work more towards fatigue. Each exercise is performed as four sets of 15 to 30 reps with a steady tempo of two seconds up and down for each rep and a strict 30 second rest break between each set. BFR can also be used during endurance training such as an upright bicycle and maintained for 10 to 20 minutes as you progress. Elite athletes would utilize BFR up to three to six times per week for the first 16 weeks post-op as part of their rehab plan. Normalizing strength following ACL reconstruction is a big determining factor in returning to normal activities of daily living. Also, symmetry and strength is one of our measurements we use in our criteria-based progression in order to return to sport. While gaining popularity in sports medicine, BFR has been around for some time using the military and with amputees in order to gain strength, making a useful tool following ACL reconstruction. As with any rehabilitation program, it's important that it's supervised by your sports medicine clinician in order to maximize safety and outcomes. Tune in next week as we discuss manual therapy in order to improve patella mobility and scar mobility.